Welcome guys, the Selwyn and today we are going to have a quick show and tell. Well, this might not be that quick, but a show and tell of the CQC family by Ernest Emerson in terms of design and Emerson knives, okay? Some of these knives you can only get as customs. I'll let you know what are those and other ones are both in production and custom world, okay? So let's start with the first one. Again, the CQC family, a lot of staple and classic design. We're starting with the CQC5 right here. This is the non-wave version and the CQC5 it's really that mini CQC6, okay? And it's just a classic. You can only get this as a custom in a Lodo or in the secondary market. Again, in this case, the waveless CQC5 with that beautiful green micarta. Love it, okay? Classic, classic right here. So let's keep going. Next will be, of course, the CQC6, the Grail CQC6 right here in this case is the wave version beautiful tanto style of design i do have a steel flame clip on this classic right here and the cqc6 is another model that you can only get through a custom right lotos or secondary market of ernest emerson so really really cool design a classic a staple in the tactical community and i'm really happy to have this in my collection after the cqc6 we'll go we're counting up guys the cqc7 right here of course you can get this classic okay it started as a benchmate collaboration and then ernest started making the production version of it in this case you're looking at a custom cqc7 it's another staple in the tactical world and hey cannot go wrong with this model love it the cqc7 by ernest emerson after that the cqc8 the banana now this is an old school style custom okay right here that you're looking of course you can get the cqc8 in several configurations i'm only showing for the most part the full size of each of, of each of these cqc models this is the old school style zero grind man this is sharp as hell the cqc8 has a lot of history in it and man it's one of my favorite designs super ergonomic it's a big knife guys okay but man just a beauty this old school design is just a classic and i love the grinds on this blade another one that you can only get this guy you can only get as a custom in the lotus or secondary market pretty rare is the eagle the cqc nine with that hawk bill style of blade that's right guys again just a badass style of knife right here the cqc9 another staple on that old school lineup of the cqc5 six seven eight nine okay those were like those classic okay that everybody is aware of the cqc9 not that common to see around and i'm very happy to have this one okay after that will be one that don't get a lot of love and we're talking about the cqc 10 right here it's one of those emerson design with an opening hole right there and guys let me tell you not a lot of love on this design but it's a great great edc this guy right here is what three point man 3.6 inch blade and great ergonomics just a beauty okay the cqc 10 is really one of those that once you get in hand you know what i'm talking about the cqc 10 another of those classic but this guy definitely doesn't get a lot of love now one that is a tank for sure is this guy right here the cqc 11 and this guy did surprise me when i got it okay in hand it's a big blade without a doubt okay and you have that beautiful little bit of a uh, recurve right here spear point style of blade a beautiful beautiful design the cqc 11 is a freaking tank okay so let's go next will be the classic the bajonet 
the CQC12, in this case, we're looking at a prototype. This is one of those that came as a frame lock. And man, just a beauty. Designed as a bajonet, right? And the CQC12 is one of those beautiful clip point, really great ergonomics in that handle. And just a beauty, the CQC12. Next, one of my favorite as well. Well, I love all these knives. This is a custom CQC 13 that you can definitely get as a production. And it's that buoy style of folder. Very, very cool. In this case, you're looking at a 2023, if I remember, or 2022 custom right here. The CQC 13, just a beauty. Great, great action on this knife. Really happy with this model, the CQC 13. After that, you have the little CQC 14 that was a design that Ernest wanted to do a full-size handle, but with a short blade for those states or areas that you cannot have a blade that is longer than three inches. And guys, great EDC if you're looking something with that full-size gray, but something that is less than three inches or less in terms of blade. The CQC 14 is a classic, and in this case, it is a hand ground, Emerson Specwear knives, chisel ground, or zero, zero grind, I should say, right here, it's like you can see, just a beauty, really, really cool. After that, you will have the classic, right, that combo of the CQC 7 and the Commander with the CQC 15, right? That Tanto with that recurve is just a beauty. This is the full size. You can get this as a production knife. It comes in Super CQC 15, the full size and the mini. Both, all three are great options, let me tell you. And I did carry a CQC 15 for years and I love it, the CQC 15. After that, one that you don't see a lot anymore, people love it and people that own it don't sell it. The CQC-16 with that commander handle, the Hunter knife with that beautiful recurve right there, right? The CQC-16, a classic. Like I mentioned, you don't see this one a lot, but let me tell you, ergonomics through the roof with that commander handle, and man, it's just a beauty okay this is an old school one from 2008 like you can see and again a classic in the lineup of cqc's now one that we saw for the first time few years ago this little guy right here that they call it the cqc 17 a little guy let me show you how it compares against a cqc 7 right here okay a classic CQC7 size that you know that 3.3 .3 inches, 8 inches overall. The CQC17, a great EDC carry. Like you can see, I don't have a clip on this guy because I just drop it in my pocket when I'm carrying it. And again, it's like that style. You have a little bit of a recurve right there. Really good EDC if you're looking for something smaller and thinner overall profile. Really, really cool. After that one, we go and we jump to the CQC 22. Let me show you where I have that one. Somewhere here. Oh, yeah. This one, very limited, guys. You don't see this one a lot. The CQC 22, this is a custom, but there are also some productions out there when they did that collab. And it's that beautiful, beautiful Tanto style of play, Tanto buoy style of play the cqc22 i definitely love great ergonomics it's a great blade shape out there and last but not least right after that 22 will be the classic the cqc 45 when they did that less bear 1911 collaboration it came with this model right here known as the cqc 45 and very cool with those 1911 style of grips right diamond grips and all that so really really cool and guys other than that i'm pretty sure you let me know if i miss anything but 
Thank you, John, for this great idea on this show and tell of the CQC family. And I think we got everything here. If not, let me know and you know where to find me, of course, in Calo PR on Instagram, caloblaze.com. On the recommendations, you will see all the groups that were always hanging around. Emerson Echo Group, Emerson Operator, USN Forums. You guys have a great day out there. Bye.